Yeah, I'm in the car, man. You see them things, them things in the car, too. Them things in the car. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Hey, today we're going to talk about Brandon Marshall, his outburst, and we're going to tie a little bit of manipulation into that bit. I'm in the car like DJX. <laughs> but yeah, man. So if y'all don't know, there's this podcast called I Am Athlete with Chad Johnson, a.k.a. Oh, excuse me, Chad Ochocinco, Fred Taylor, Brandon Marshall, and I forget the other gentleman's name with the with the locks, the light-skinned gentleman. I forget his name. But they're on a podcast called I Am Athlete, and they were discussing NBA player salary. And long story short, Brandon Marshall was telling people that NBA contracts are not guaranteed, which they clearly are, so he was wrong. Anyway, he ends up blowing up, yelling. He ends up going crazy. I mean, veins popping out his neck, veins popping out his head. He is yelling to the top of his lungs. You're wrong! You're wrong! The contracts are not guaranteed! They not guaranteed, bro! You're wrong! And like, he's having a fit. He is going nuts. Meanwhile, they're like, nah, bro, you're wrong. And he's, he's yelling to the top of his lungs. And what I do is, um, I'm gonna post his picture. If I was on my editing game, I gotta get better. I know if I was on my editing game, I'd have posted a picture of him. It's on my Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram, I got this picture. He's just full blown Hulk mode. Veins popping out. He's Y'all, like he's going crazy, and if you you could probably type it in if you know if you don't know what I'm talking about type in uh, Brandon Marshall yelling about NBA contracts. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the first video to pop up because he's going crazy. I mean like he's wilding out. And what was interesting about that was I'm like for him to be so wrong, he is very loud. I mean. He is loud as a motherfucker, but he is wrong as a motherfucker. I mean, like, he loud as fuck, but he wrong as fuck. Like, <laughs> like, bruh, it was the audacity for me. I'm like, damn, bro. And then it made me think. I'm like, that's manipulation. When you don't get your way, you just start going fucking ballistic. Hey, bro, let me tell you, when I saw him go that crazy... I said, let me go to the bathroom and let me see if I can make some veins pop out my neck. So I start yelling my ass off. I'm talking about, I'm in the mirror going ballistic. I'm talking about, ain't nobody watching go crazy. Uh, would you? Like, because nobody was there. So I'm, I am losing my shit in the bathroom trying to make a vein pop out somewhere. And my nigga, not one vein popped out. Not one vein popped out my shit after like three minutes of me losing my cool. And going crazy. I'm like, damn, bro, I ain't getting out one vein. And this man had a whole. <laughs> he had a whole system. So I'm like, damn, he really must have just. He, he. That what that is, bro. That was just. And the reason why that kind of. Made me like. I'm like, damn, bro. Because I don't know. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he beat up his ex-girlfriend, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But but now I understand, because you got, like, okay, trigger warning. You got people that are very manipulative, bro, and, like, one of their tactics is when they're not getting their way just to create a scene and start yelling. I don't like that shit, bro. We got to call that shit out, bro. If we're going to enhance the culture, we got to call out shit like that, bro, because that's not cool, bro. Nobody got time for you to be wrong and loud, bro. That shit is crazy to me, bro. Like, you're not going to yell at me and be wrong. Like, so let's nip that in the bud. And ladies, gentlemen, if you're ever with somebody, as soon as they, they, they got one time to yell at you, bro. They got one time to yell at you. After that, they're done. Don't even, no, don't you dare, don't you dare tolerate somebody yelling at you. You're an adult. I'm a grown ass, man. You're not going to yell at me. And you're definitely not going to yell at me and be wrong about some shit, bro. Like, son, if you go on any website, it'll tell you that every NBA player contract is guaranteed. I mean, you couldn't have been more wrong. You couldn't have been wronger. 
He was wrong as fuck, but he was so loud. He knew he was wrong. I haven't been that loud about being right. If he was, you know, I understand being loud. I'm not knocking people that's being loud. Sometimes somebody might gaslight you and lie to you. It might break you out your character because they might get the best of you because they're lying and they're triggering you and you might lose your cool, but at least you lose your cool and you spit the truth. You're not losing your cool and you're flat out fucking wrong. Like flat, flat the fuck out wrong. I'm like, my nigga, no, that's not cool. Because that's how people get abused in relationships. Y'all got to stop sticking around for abusive relationships. I can already tell. That's what he do around his woman. I can already. Bitch, I was not at the motherfucking game. I was at the house. I was not with the bitches. And she probably just saw him at the store with the bitches. You know, he, he probably just be like, that's, that's, no. Ladies, no. Don't, no. I don't care how much money he got. I don't care how good the dick is. No. No. He has one time to yell at you. If he does, he's he's done. You, you don't even, you block, you, no. No, do not let, fellas, do not let no woman yell at you, bro. You shouldn't be. Don't let it happen. Don't let them, don't let them yell at you. The fuck? You're not gonna yell at me. You're not gonna yell at me. Oh, fuck no. I'm a grown ass man, I don't give a fuck. And I'm not finna be I'm not finna be around the motherfucker that's loud and wrong in public. Fuck that shit. No, no. I can see it now. You're at the restaurant. He gets the bill. He's like, I didn't get no crab cakes. Hey, waiter. My check says I got crab cakes. Uh, sir, you got crab cakes. The crab cakes are like, yeah, sir, you did get us. Um, you ordered us. And he be like, I ain't ordered no fucking crab cakes. I ain't paid for this motherfucking crab cakes. And you with the dude that's wilding out over crab cakes. He ordered. And now what, bro? Now what? Now what? You with the nigga that's wilding over crab cakes he ordered. Now you gotta deal with the pressure and the whatever comes with being with the guy that is yelling at his at, at the waiter, the waitress about crab cakes he ordered, bro. You it's not a good feeling, bro. It's like you just don't wanna be with the guy that's loud and wrong, bro. I'm not gonna be with the guy that's loud and wrong. He gotta make a fool of himself on his own. So it's just like Nah, bro. Mm -mm. Nope. After seeing that shit, I'm like, damn, bro. He is snapping. And he wrong. I'm thinking, nah, bro. Hey, I, that's manipulation, bro. It's manipulation. Because, like, with them kind of people, when you with somebody that's loud and wrong, you just got to nod your head, wait till they done. Mm hmm Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And the NBA contracts, they not guaranteed. You got to. Yeah. Mm hmm and I'm not finna yet mm -hmm, to know to, to anybody that's loud and wrong. I'm not finna do it, bro. Not gonna be able to do it. Y'all shit me? Hell no, nah, bro. I'm like, this is crazy, bro. How you make all them veins pop out your shit and you wrong as a motherfucker? Like, not gonna be able to do it, bro. That shit was insane to me, bro. Like, so that's why I tell y'all, don't. That's a manipulation tactic. Do not let anybody yell at you. Do not let anybody, um, don't let them do that shit to you, bro. Like, nah, bro, like, don't let them do that shit to you, bro. That's, that's some wild ass shit, bro. I had them yell at you like that. You're an adult, bro. Don't let them fuck that shit, bro. Because it's like, if they found out they can yell at you, oh, what else can I get away with? Nah, mm -mm, nip that shit in the butt. Got, we have to fight. That's why you need to take self-defense classes so you can whip a motherfucker ass if they try that dumb shit. Hey, you knocking the, knock his ass out, bro. Yeah, no business yelling. No, bro. No, you got. You, you have to get back into the business of knocking motherfuckers out for being wrong. Like you can be wrong, but don't be wrong, loud, aggressive, and threatening. Cause you gotta get knocked the fuck out. That's just. It's just that simple. We gotta get normalize knocking motherfuckers. <laughs> you feel me? Like for real, bro. We gotta normalize that shit. Motherfuckers get too crazy. You gotta knock a motherfucker out, bro. Just take a self defense class. So if they. If they try to get crazy on you and being wrong and try to, yo, just wow. Ladies, take Wing Chun. That's a good one. That's a good one because it teaches you self-defense and it teaches you how to punch and maneuver effectively guarding your center line. So you need to take those classes, Wing Chun, because it was actually made for women. It was made by a woman. And she had to fight. And all her life she had to fight. She fought, though. And she beat one of the, you know, the toughest warriors with the style. 
So ladies, learn that shit so you can just start knocking these niggas out. Right. For real. Like, like, nah, you're not, like, they're not gonna yell at, like, ladies, knock these niggas the fuck out. It be, cause like, for real, it don't be too many men getting yelled at, like, sometimes it happened, but, like, man, hey, bro, if you're a man getting yelled at, don't even, like, if you married to a bro, you stuck low-key, you gotta go to counseling, but, like, bro, I'm not finna be on no date, and have, I ain't finna have no bro yell at me, bro, and think she can just come back into my life like nothing happened. Cause it be that same shit, that Brandon Marshall shit, be loud as fuck, wrong as fuck, then try to come back like nothing happened. Like, nah, my nigga, let's talk about how you was just, however long ago, wrong as a bitch and loud as a bitch. You just can't come, like, that's another manipulation tactic. They'll do some dumb shit and try to come back like nothing happened. Like, no, no, we just can't slide up and, no, 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 let's talk about this. And if they don't want to talk about it, they gotta go. Motherfuckers, we gotta normalize that motherfuckers go. We gotta normalize motherfuckers gotta go. Motherfuckers gotta go. That's how it be, bro. And, but y'all, you can't, like, don't don't go through the craziness and then be like, motherfuckers gotta go. But if you did go through the craziness, it's okay. Definitely normalize motherfuckers gotta go. Start the day if you haven't done it. Like, yo, don't even, motherfuckers gotta go. It's just that simple. And don't and don't be like, oh, motherfuckers gotta go, but then you got this little one motherfucker that, that, that don't gotta go. Like, no, that, they gotta go too. They, everybody gotta, we will clean the fucking house. This house is gonna be clean as fuck. Like, we will gotta go. You better treat me right. You're not gonna yell at me and be wrong. You're not even gonna yell at me and yell at me and be wrong. That's a double whammy. We don't do those. I done forgot where I was going. I was fuck, man. Where was I going? I done got, I done got passionate, but I'm right. I'm right about my passion. And I'm not yelling at it. I mean, they just had to sit there, bro. How did I? We, Yeah, man, but nah, bro. Y'all don't, don't take that shit, man. And somebody did you wrong, they gotta make it up to you. Straight up. Straight up. If somebody did you wrong, they gotta make it up.